Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome for your first video. So today's video is gonna be a very highly anticipated video that I have been just putting off filming to be honest and that is gonna be an updated house tour. So I moved this house two years ago this month and we've just been in the process of renovating the whole thing from top to bottom. I've done loads and loads of renovation vlogs on my channel if you wanna check them out and today felt like a really good time to film a house tour. Don't get me wrong, it's not perfect. There's still things I'd wanna change but we have pretty much done nearly everything to every single room and now it's just a case of making it perfect so yeah I thought I'd show you what we've done so far if you like creams and neutrals a little bit of grey um also some woody tones and pops of black then you're going to really enjoy this house tour I've also got pops of gold and champagne as well but also some chrome so each room has its own theme and its own vibe but the whole house together I feel like like transitions quite nicely so yeah I'm really excited to take you around and and to share with you my house. So let's get started. So guys, welcome to my home. My new front door I have shown quite a few times before, but this has recently been installed and it's by Palladio Door Collection. The best quality, absolutely obsessed. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little view from back here and then we'll spin around as well. So when you walk into my house, this is what you see. So the garage is through there and yeah, we've got quite a nice wide hallway to start with. So this space is fairly basic, don't like to put too much in here. And this little console table here, I just change up with the seasons. So the console table is from CFS Furniture Superstore online. Just a nice like grayish wooden unit. And then I have got my pumpkin on there, that will go soon. But yeah, I did have like flowers in here and I'll put flowers in there for Christmas, that sort of thing. And then this mirror is from Dunelm. I just feel like it adds a touch of glam to the space. So the flooring down here was here when we first bought the house. And then this runs all the way through to the living room and also my kitchen. So what should we do first? We'll do the kitchen first. We've gone for these cottage style doors and the kitchen one has a glass panel as you can see. And I love the kitchen, it's one of my favorite rooms of the house. It's funny because when we first got this house, I wasn't actually a massive fan, but I've really grown to like the kitchen a lot. So this is where the magic all happens. This is obviously the cook inside of the kitchen and we've got a range master in here. The cupboard space is really generous as well. It's something I really liked about the house. And then we've just got more storage on this side as well. I'm not gonna talk you through all the cupboards because this house store is gonna be long enough. But as you can see, it's cream, it's shaker stole. And then over here, we've got the fridge freezer and some more cupboard space. And then moving on over here, we've got just another little kind of cooking-y space. So I've got my Ninja air fryer, which I literally love that thing so much. I use it all the time. And I've also got my Ninja blender as well, which again, I absolutely love. Then this is my little coffee station. And again, this space changes with the seasons. So expect to see some nice Christmassy bits soon. This is from Amazon. I just pop all my coffee pods in it. And this is the Nespresso. I think it's called the Pro Creatista, something like that. I really like it, I think it looks really nice. It ties in really well with the kitchen. And then I've got these two little babies which are from the range. Then we've got this side of the kitchen with like the sink and everything. And the only thing I would change in here at the minute is the black appliances. So we have actually got the doors. So once these give up on us, we will be getting integrated units. But for now, we're just keeping it as it is. Over here, I've just got quite a simplistic space. You might recognize these from back in the day when I had my flat. Um, so these will be changed eventually. I'm not sure whether to go for black or cream, but I want to keep the kitchen nice and tied in together. And then we've just got these. So this I pop treats in. As you can see, it's got a little bit of ice and sugar in there. This is from Home Bargains. This is from Cherries. And this is also from Cherries as well. And then we've got a lovely island in the kitchen as well, which I absolutely love. It's something I always wanted when getting a house. And we've got two bar stools back there as well. And this space is a little bit cluttered because I've just taken down my autumn decor, but I'll just quickly show you. So please ignore this because that will be going up in the loft this afternoon. But yeah, here are my gorgeous bar stools which are from Wayfair and then Lola's got a really cute little bed I believe that's also from Wayfair and then we just got these nice blinds which came with the house and then this is just another little view of the kitchen these two doors here are just cupboards which I won't bother going inside then we've got these prints in the hallway which are from Desenio I'm trying to go for a bit more of a neutral theme trying to bring that throughout the house so I like the look of these ones 
This is our downstairs loo, which if you know me, <laughs> then you know that you know it's not my favorite space in the house. So not really much to show. We haven't renovated this space yet. So just a real quick pan view of that, but there's not too much to see in here. It's definitely a room that I wanna work on at some point soon. And then our stairs go up there, but I'm gonna take you through to the living room now. So I would change this if I could, but I've tried to make it work, which you'll see in a second. And we've got my little dog asleep back there as well. So yeah, the living room is probably one of my favorite rooms of the house because it's just, it's a really nice space. It's really airy and bright and there's not too much going on in here. And that's exactly what I wanted. I just wanted it to be a nice relaxing space. So to start over here, the sofa is from DFS. It's the, I think it's called the lorry sofa. It was actually an L, but we just changed it because it was blocking off the French doors and yeah, it just, it didn't look the best. So we changed it to this, it is quite a big sofa. I feel like the space can take the size of it to be fair. And then to try and bring in my like grey cream sort of colours, I bought these cushions. So this one is a bit more silver and then this one is a really nice cream. It's like a, almost like cloud sort of design. For the life of me, I cannot remember where these are from, so I'm really sorry, but we've got six of those on the sofa. We've also got a little Frenchie as well. And then in front of the sofa, we've got a really big rug. So we wanted a rug that was the length of the sofa and we really struggled to find one. We actually came across this on Dunelm. So really happy with this. We've had it a while now and whenever you hoover it, it literally comes up new. Our little table set is from Wayfair, so it's a really nice champagne gold. So this particular room has nice pops of gold in there. And then my little tray is from Matalan, and my donut vase is from H&M. And then this is from HomeSense. And then over here, we've got a console table. So I believe this is from, I think it's something like Five Nines online. I really like it. It's a oriental style and what drew me to it was the gorgeous champagne because that's the pop of colour that I've gone for in this room. And also the colour, it's just a really pretty, almost taupey, grey kind of pinky colour. It's really, really stunning. I absolutely love this so much. And then I've just kept it quite simplistic on top. Um, we've got a painting that I actually did and then we've got a white company candle alongside my Esper diffuser as well and then these lights i wouldn't have chose to put them on the wall but because we already had lights up when we moved we just thought we may as well utilize what we have so these are from very and the curtains are from ikea and then the walls are dulux nutmeg white which is a beautiful color it's like a really nice beigey creamy pinky color our tv is like a decent size i think it's like 70 inch and we've got a fireplace under there which i would quite like to change the trim of that to champagne as well if i could and then over here we've just got the footstool the matching armchair and that's basically it it's quite a simplistic room there's not too much going on like i said i'd like to change up the sofas eventually but it is what it is for now okay so we're now going to go through to the dining room so there's not actually a door here there's just an archway which I've grown to really like actually there's certain things in this house when we first got it I was like oh we're not going to knock that through and that but actually I've just learned to embrace it instead so that is a tip I would give if you have just moved to a house don't just go crazy and knock things down take your time and actually live in the space a lot of people said that to me and it's the best piece of advice I was given because any of the decisions I made when we first moved in, we've pretty much reversed them. So yeah, definitely just live in your space for a few months before you go making any rash decisions. Um, but anyway, we walk into the dining room and this is a space I really like again. I feel like I'm gonna say that about you know quite a few of the places, but I really do like the dining room. There's nothing really I would change in here to be honest with you, other than maybe popping up something on this back wall, maybe a mirror, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, we've recently decorated the dining room and we've gone for nutmeg white on the walls again. I do get a lot of comments actually on YouTube about this dining table because it is quite squished into the room, but we have tried it along this way and whilst it is nicer, you'll see in a second i my office is through this way so it's just in the way and it's it's more practical for it to be here because it's very rare that we're ever going to actually need to access all six seats so yeah it's, it's really easy to move around anyways but this dining table is actually something i bought before we even moved into the house i had a vision i saw it on pinterest and i knew i wanted it and it's basically a reclaimed wood dining table from cfs again and yes yeah, it's, it's a lovely dining table it's got really chunky legs as you can see um it's really heavy it's well made and 
it's just something that I feel like will last a lifetime and it's really good quality. I love the colour as well, it's like grey like washed sort of wood look. Really, really happy with this dining table. And then to go with, we've got six chairs. These are also from CFS Furniture again. And I quite like the shape of them at the back. They kind of go out and then in. And they are the Chesterfield sort of style, as you can see, but there's no like buttons or anything like that on them. You know, studs, they're just quite plain, which I like. And I've also got little cushions on them as well, which are from Matalan. So yeah, all the dining space is obviously the same. And again, I just de decorate this seasonally as and when. And then the dining table chairs kind of gave me the idea to have a pop of black in here. So we recently changed up in here and we've got black lights, which are from Very. And then we've also got some prints, which are from Desenio. This I want to get rid of. That's the only thing I think that'll change in here. I speak too soon. I would shorten these curtains as well. But yeah, they're from um, Dunelm. And so is the curtain pole. It's gone really dull. But I really like this side of the room as well. So we've got loads of space. It's really nice and open. And we've got a mirror, which is from Dunelm. Obviously my Desenio prints. And then these gorgeous pampas grass are from Matalan. I've really recently bought these. They're all actually referenced under the same thing, but they're all different colours and shapes. Some of them are a lot fluffier than others. And then we've just got a H&M vase down there. And then here is the other side of the room. So yeah, really happy with this room. And then we walk through here, and this is my home office where I do my nine to five job in finance. So here we go. And again, another room that I'm really happy with the results. So I wanted this room to be just a little bit darker than the others. So the colour in here is Skimming Stone by Farrow and Bull. And I wanted pops of gold in here. And yeah, I'm just chuffed with the final results. So this is what it looks like. Just going to spin you around. The prints on the wall I painted myself. I saw some on Instagram and I thought I'm going to recreate them because they were literally hundreds of pounds. So... That is exactly what I did. And then this space over here, so we've got a unit which is from HomeSense, and then I've just got some designer books on there. This globe is from Mason's de Monde, and then this is from Dunelm again. There's a lot of Dunelm in this house, uh, and this is just like a glass base. And then once I had that, it gave me the idea for the gold, so I then got this desk, which is from Lo Mary. And then I got this chair, which is from Wayfair again, and it's got gold legs. And I really like the color of this. It's a really pale, like browny tan sort of color. Really happy with it. And it's actually quite comfortable as well. And this is just my desk setup. I couldn't tell you where this is from because work have supplied it, but the screens are Philips, and I think the stand is from Amazon. And then we just kept the cream blinds running throughout the house. So I've got a cream blind here. And then we've got a dog bed, which is from Omelette in this gorgeous cream. The footstool is from Home Sense again, and it's in this nice grayish color. And I just use it to store all my worky sort of stuff. And then I've also got a bar stool in here as well, and just some glasses and just some little odd, odd bits and pieces just to kind of bring in the gold colors. So that's the downstairs done. I'm now gonna take you upstairs. We have actually got a stair gate here because when we first got the house, Lola, our little dog was still, I think only six months old. So yeah, we had this built by a local carpenter and we just kept it up because it is, it's just convenient if you're cleaning and that sort of thing. Um, we've got gray carpet running up and then it's just very, light and bright and airy in this space of the house so yeah there's not too much going on and um, we had all the stairs redone we've had a lot in this house redone i think we've pretty much ripped everything out we redid the stairs like all the railing and everything and like i say just white everywhere really bright could probably do with some prints and that sort of thing and maybe even a color one day but for now We've got a nice blank canvas. So I've got this really glamorous light, which is from, you guessed it, Darnell, and that hangs over the stairs. I'll just put it on quickly to show you. So that's an LED light, and it is very, very bright, I'll be honest. And we've got a cream blind there again, and then we've got this, which is from The Range. I really like this. I feel like we've had quite a lot of compliments on this as well. We kept the, um, I think this might be oak, I'm not sure. We kept the oak just because I liked the little bit of wood showing. And then, yeah, where do we start? I guess we'll go into the guest bedroom first off. 
so here we go i wanted a room to have nice pops of black in it and this is the room that we chose to go with so my bed is from my old flat um and it's just a nice like very light gray little bit creamy sort of color and then my bedspread is from b m but i wouldn't recommend it because it's got loads of picks on it so yeah i don't recommend that my cushions are h&m at the back and then primark at the front and i've got these gorgeous bedside tables which are from amazon i believe and then my lights are from very and i really like these like a ceramic base and then white at the top and then i've got prints either side which are from disenio this side of the room still needs a little bit of work. I feel like I've said this in many videos, but please ignore this little thing here. That needs to go. Um, then we've got a white framed mirror from Ikea, which again needs to either go or be painted black. And just the matching units either side. And then yeah, I just got a little chair there, gray with black legs from my old flat. And then that is a storage cupboard. So that is the first bedroom done. Then we're gonna go into the master bedroom, which is not a room I've really shown much of because it is something that needs to be worked on. So this is the master bedroom. So it's, it's very basic. There's not much going on in here at all. Um, this is also Skimming Stone by Farrah and Ball in here. And my bed is Arista Living. Now, what I would love in here is a higher headboard and a cream bed. So I wanna ditch all the gray and make this room a really lovely, creamy, just relaxing space. So yeah, that will definitely be something we do at some point soon. For now, this is what we're working with. So the bedside tables are from Ikea. They're old, they're from my flat. And then the lights either side are from Very. And my cushions at the back are Matalan. They're also Matalan. And my bedding, it looks a bit boring, but it's basically bamboo bedding. And it's really, really good for my skin. Where I get eczema, it's really soft and gentle and it doesn't irritate me at all. And then over this side, we've just got Lola's dog bed from Pets at Home. And again, the blind in here is like a mini ensuite, but I'm not going to go in there because, again, it's another space we want to work on. And, um, I don't really like it as it is. So, I mean, I'll show you it briefly, look. But you can just see, it's, it's all right, but it's not what I'd choose. And then from this side of the room, we've got our TV on the wall, and that's basically it in here. I think I'll take you on into my bathroom next, which is something that's really recently been renovated. And annoyingly, the fan's on, so I think that's gonna be a bit annoying. But yeah, this is my bathroom. I have done a dedicated tour on this, if you wanna go and check it out on my page. Um, but yeah, I'll just pan around and show you everything and yeah, I'm really really happy with how the bathroom turns out We went for these glossy marble style tiles um, We went for an LED mirror which has like a built-in sound system and everything like that as well And then we went for chrome fixtures too. So we've got a heated tower rail this gorgeous sink unit which has all my products in as you can see absolutely love this i've recently organized it literally this week just got all my products in makes it easier to find these are from h&m home this vase is also h&m home and this is where the toilet is um ignore this i would love to get this changed at some point on the never ending list of things to do and then we opted for a bath shower in here because we have already got a shower in the mini ensuite. I say mini because there's no toilet in there. There's just a shower and a sink. Um, but yeah, this is the beautiful bath. I'm really happy with how this turned out. My vision for this room was like a luxury sort of hotel style bathroom. And whilst our bathroom is small, um, I feel like I have achieved the look that I wanted to go for. And I always feel like I'm in a really nice space whenever I have a bath in here. So... I love the fact that we ran the tiles up the side of the bath. This is from B&M, by the way. And then, yeah, this is what it looks like. Designed it all myself. I wanted three cutouts with mirror at the back because it reflects in the room and makes it nice and bright and airy. And that's exactly what you need when you have got a smaller space you're working with. And then we had lights put in the top as well, which looks so pretty at night time. And we've got matching ones on the ceiling. We then have this shower. This is an Annalisa shower. Um, so you don't have any of the, like, you know, bars and that's showing so it's a lot cleaner looking and sleek which i'm really happy with and then our tap is like a waterfall style tap um that's basically it in here to be honest with you but yeah i absolutely love this space it's a bathroom that i'm really happy with and 
I feel like we've made the most of the space, in my opinion anyway. Um, we're now gonna go into our wardrobe room, which again is another room that, it was actually on my list of like dream things to have when we got this house. So up here we've got a little table, which I don't know where this is from, I'll be honest. Oh, it's from Argos. And then we've got pops of gold in here again. So these prints are Desenio. And this just shows how quick my taste is changing because I probably would change these up if I could. So yeah, it just shows how much things change in literally the space of like less than two years. But we've got gold framed prints in here. So here is the wardrobe room. And yeah, I'm really happy of how this turned out. Um, when we first got this house, we did look into getting like a bespoke wardrobe room, but they're just so expensive. So it was just so much cheaper to just get these. Obviously, if we really wanted to, we could have them like built in properly, but we're happy with how it looks for now. So I'm not sure where these are from, I'll be honest. I'm really sorry. Um, but in all honesty, they're not the best quality anyway. And I think they're a little bit overpriced for what they are. So I'm doing you a favour by not remembering. Um, but yeah, I wanted some mirrors in here to reflect around and make it nice and bright again. And basically we have these like shaker style cupboards. And I changed the handles to champagne to match the pops of gold in here. And then from this side, we've just got the blind and this is from I think it's from Wayfair again um honestly so much of my stuff is Wayfair and then I've got a cute little rug on there as well my light up here is I have no idea where that's from if I'm honest and then this side is Jordan's wardrobe so of course he has got the smaller wardrobe being a man um he's got four doors and then I have got six so I don't think I have that much more than him just just an extra wardrobe but yeah it works really well for us and just we've carried on the same carpet by the way throughout the whole of the upstairs um, and then this bit here is just the airing cupboard and then that leaves me to the final room which is my filming room and I'll be honest guys this is the room I'm least excited to show you because it's a mess so I'm going to keep this room really short and sweet and I'm not even going to go over this side because it is in preparation to be changed which will be in a separate video but this room, in all honesty, is always a bit of a dumping ground because I've always got stuff I need to film. So this is all stuff that I need to film this weekend. So it's, it's, it's never a clear room. So I'm just showing you the honest reality of this room. Um, but I do have a sofa in here, which is from DFS and it's just like a Chesterfield grey sofa. And then we've got these cushions, which are from H&M again my nice chopping cushions my gorgeous lamps are from the range i'm really happy with these they're really decent sized um, lamps and they're gorgeous like beigey cream color and then a nice champagne -y, just very pale champagne base love those and then i've got matching tables either side you can barely see which are from b um i think they're from b and q actually um, but yeah, that's basically all you're going to get to see in here because, like I say, it's a bit of a mess. My light up here is from... Oh, I can't remember. This is from Next. So guys, that is the end of the house tour. I really, really hope you have enjoyed watching this. And do excuse my appearance. It's quite late now, um, but I really wanted to get this video up for you tomorrow. So I thought I'd quickly film the outro and like intro now. Um, but yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed watching. If you've got any suggestions, leave them down below because I'm constantly like finding ways to improve and update the house. And if you love home interior, then please do stay tuned for future content because yeah, I do so much home stuff around here. So if you are new here, then I would absolutely love for you to subscribe. I also have Instagram and TikTok tiktok as well if that's something you're interested in and yeah have a lovely day guys and i'll see you soon Mwah. bye